Hey everyone, how are you doing? Uh, this, today we're going to be breaking down Korea versus Jordan. I don't know either of these players and I've shrank and moved the format of my video around because World Taekwondo put a copyright strike on one of my videos. Apparently they don't like me talking about Taekwondo. Uh, so I'm trying to change the format in a way that it won't get a copyright strike. Uh, so I can continue to educate every now and then when time allows. So I haven't seen this fight before, but let's get into it. For those of you who don't know me, I've been on Philippine national team for seven years. I was on collegiate national team before that, made a national team at the same time I was on Philippine national team in 2019, fought in three world championships. My highest world rank was 23. So I did okay during my career. Long story short, I did okay. Let's rewind. Front leg doing front leg things, normal. I don't know either of these guys' weapons, so this should be interesting. Good cut. Nice try out the punch. Front hand punch, I don't know if scores if it's scoring a lot. That one probably should have been extended a little bit more to make sure it gets through. Oh, they gave it to him. Well, what do you know? Brave New World. So for Korea's option, if someone's going to punch at you, short act kick, any kind of short head kick, front leg is great. Expecting the punch, doing a back kick, also a good option. Or retreating on where you think the punch would be. So Hujin, also a good tactic. He's going to try for it again. I don't know. That's At this level, you should expect the person's going to adjust already. So that's a little bit risky. As Korea, I'd start making adjustments already. Some kind of short head kick or switch it so you're on offense. You definitely don't want to sit there and let this guy try and dive bomb punch you, though. Okay. For crabbing. Interesting. <laughs> Flick body. Because he's not moving backwards, so if you... I'm saying flick body because the defense is to stay there and he's letting his leg stay there and hit him. So if you let it, if you're fighting someone and you're letting their leg they let you keep your leg there and hit him, if you fake to the body and the pump for the second kid downward, that's a viability. On the last one it seemed like he's able to get away with just a cut. So if you're able to do that cut, go changing target. So instead of just going here on this front part, you're gonna go here and then to this front big part of the armor. Good try for a turn. He's trying to get around that front. So all of Korea's play right now is to get around the front leg. Jordan's front leg is jamming up. Oh, oh, that would have been a good punch opportunity. Trying to go from behind the head. That switch was nice. For grabbing? Really? Good adaptation by, uh, by Jordan there. Ooh, to the body. how that one score? Good setup here. So you just step to jam the kick. So good try by Jordan. I like the spin because he knows that Korea's going to try and press with that front leg. So it's a good threat to keep him away from using that front leg. And I'll see how Korea scores here. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's literally just he stepped in with the knee high to jam the kick. This is, um, this is I would say, risky. Because if you screw up the distance or if you screw up the timing of it and it kicks after like you're fully exposed you're not even kicking you're just artificially stepping into distance you're just faking stepping into distance and if he went to the head he launched a hard kick to the body this kind of off timing though by the step may have been what threw him off because usually kicks happen really fast and uh, people are expecting that fast burst right but here boom there's a fake this little off time step here whoop so it's almost like a fake lazy kick and then it's it like it almost screws up it screws up the reaction time because you're if like someone's punching at you fast and then all of a sudden they go then it's like uh, and then that sometimes the off timing can help so in this case he did the off timing kind of step jam that knee up get those two points in let's see if we can make up two more points in the remaining seconds 
for those of you who don't know, Taekwondo is now a round superiority. So whoever wins the round takes the round. Score resets. Ooh, good defense here. Just all getting around that front leg. Jordan switch legs. That's that's interesting. Let's try. Out. Yep. Good play. Gonna get the call. Gonna be gonna give him the round. Yep. Okay. Move forward. Move forward. Round two. The game for Korea is how do I get around this front leg? Another step. He might also another option is to close to move to close stance. Or, sorry, to move to open stance. He's been fighting close stance this whole time. If he switches to close stance, it denies Red a lot of those weapons. It turns around that front part of the Ogu. There's just a lot of stuff that can be, that gets blocked, essentially, if you switch. So that'd be an option. Ooh, that was a nice little twist kick here. Looks like Korea's main leg does his front, which is why he's willing to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Front leg reverse kick. Very nice. On Jordan's part, it's not bad. He's he's been doing a lot of front leg lately, so switching to a back leg kick when nothing is working, not a bad adjustment here. Not a bad adjustment by Jordan. Good, so he's worried that front he's worried to use the back leg again because that front leg scored. Some kind of yeah, some kind of follow up front leg cut, spin, yeah. Okay. Yep, just poking. He's trying to get Korea to, to draw. He's, it looks like he's trying to draw Korea in. Even though there's a lot of pressure there, he's trying to see if he can pick any points, but it looks like he's trying to draw Korea in for something. Oop, low. Maybe not. Feels resetting. Start with cut, yeah. Maybe cut axe, try and go over, but then you leave yourself open on the front. Motion again. Korea's going to try and do something, I think. He's been being pressed this whole time. If he doesn't move, I think the ref will give him, yeah. The ref's going to give him a warning. They're both just kicking each other in the balls, apparently. Good try. He's going to have to go to the face. Okay. Close. Motion. No, no motion. Okay. Reset the field. He's going to try and make some... It's not bad. He, I mean, I don't know why he's raising his hand. This... It didn't... It didn't even register as a score. So them doing the replay. I mean, it would have hit helmet. It would have hit something, right? It looks... From that camera, it looks good. The other one is a clear miss. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have called that. Just because if it registered properly, it wouldn't have hit the head. Maybe they'll, because it's Korea, if they can lock this point down, that's 2-0 and for red, so they move on. So maybe that's why the call was made. Good. Wow, this is nice, nice footwork here by Korea to manage this. He knows there's going to be a lot of pressure. Chooses to bring the, forward, bring the, bring the fight to red. Oop, motion. Nice little fakes. Staying just on the edge of distance. Good read. He gives up the one. Now Jordan, sh cut, short head kicks. Cut or short head kicks. Motion, cut, short head kicks. Motion, cut, or short head kicks. Why Why motion, cut, or short head kicks? Because if he, he, he knows Korea can't really go out. So he has to, he has to occupy this space here somehow. Because if, if he doesn't occupy this space, Korea's going to slide back. Then they can give him the kyung, the, the gumjong, which means that he, it's a 2-2 two, two tie. And, oh man, maybe he still loses, so he still felt like Korea might take that bet. But it seems like, from here, that if he had went short, because Korea's Korea can't really move back anymore. If he moves back, it's going to be a tie game. I'm not 100% sure on the rules now, but it's going to be a tie game. He, I think, Red was thinking he's going to run back, take the, um, take the gumjong, and so... Because of maybe the technicality, Korea would win. But in my from my read of this, Korea is probably gonna have to stay in place or go in. So doing kind of short distance kicks, knowing Korea is gonna run into it, would have been my my guess of what to do. Like he gave it, he almost gave it away too. Like, <laughs> look when he sets here, you can see see Korea here. 
Oh, uh, no, no, never mind. He's just getting set. Just... If he had done some, done some kind of short kick in place. He did the leg check thing, questionable. But it's next round, so whatevs. Whenever this takes, moves on. All right, so just as a quick assessment, what do we know? Jordan has both legs, can spin uh, when there's right leg in front. He has a front leg, he has a nice front leg cut. Standard, most players come with that already. He has a back leg, but his back leg is being countered by Korea's front uh, right leg here. Korea's right leg also in the clinch is effective. He's able to step in to close the distance quickly. And he's, um, he's more than willing to go toe to toe and poke with Jordan on these kicks. On the front leg. So how do you beat that? I would have to say follow up. What's nice to see in the, the game now is because the rules have been set and they're not changing too drastically between tournaments, we can start to see different strategies start to evolving now. Start to evolve. So we're going to see a, more of a return to progression kind of tactics where they're building off of the initial attack because there's not everyone knows each other's weapons there's a huge array of weapons everyone has all the weapons so when everyone has the same weapons strategy is what makes a difference that that's kind of costly in the third round actually he tried for the spin why why is this a smart idea because korea has been using his front leg all day tried to lure out there and then i'm pretty sure he's gonna give him the same look did i did i ever one fire enough Yeah, so he tried to give him the same look to get him to bite on that front leg, but I would say he waited too long. So if you go here, if you're trying to set something up, it's not, I mean, just this front leg stuff either way. Right, he goes here with that front leg. Deep, okay, boom. And Korea countered with just blocking, or was it a face shot? We tried to counter with the front leg. If you're going to set up the spin, the spin... You want to set that up within like one as soon as you reset you want to set up the the next iteration because you don't want them to think of the game plan if they think of the game plan they'll execute on the game plan you lose the predictability factor so you want to do that one iteration so this one would have been a cut and then he did a sliding front leg bent knee into the spin and you want to do that within about a second of each other so if you do the sliding cut you reset you do the sliding spin right away to try and evoke that reactionary part or the instinct part of your partner where they move on reaction instead of move when they're thinking and if they move on reaction you have a higher chance of countering them because of the predictability factor so i th like obviously that's not the whole game plan here there, his coach i'm sure was feeding him the spin after this had happened and he's trying to calculate when to do it but for those of you who are setting up the kick doing one iteration where he had that cut and then that slide up cut into the spin is a good idea i would just stack it one on top of each other within a second not waiting so long between the two otherwise like i said your partner can think your opponent can think and if they think that means the their reactionary slash instinct part is no longer there and they're they're moving with the new game plan cranius attack a little bit here cut flick or maybe straight straight leg up ball that's what my gut says not. I don't know. Chris is very passive on this. Motion. Motion. Some kind of fake. Korea. Korea's going to have to come in now. Just kicking each other below the belt. Step in kick. Ooh. That was a nice try for that spin. That was a decent idea by Korea to, to jam this up. Boom, he's going to try and do that step and kick again. He sees, he bails on it halfway though when he steps. He sees a kick coming and tries to get for the spin. Not a bad idea on both sides, a good counter. Yeah, so the idea now in those last few seconds, I think is Curry's going to jam that front leg, try and get on the inside and score, is the overarching strategy. Motion. As Jordan, not eat some distance with your footwork first instead of trying to cut it, go on with the cut every time. Motion. No! Oh, touch, touch, shoot. Maybe that's where Korea's biggest uh, 
Maybe that's Korea's biggest weapon, is just a relaxed op to the body. Oh, uh, yeah, well, he has to press now. That's why he's been sitting back this whole time, it's because he just plays defense. All of his weapon, the main weapons look like they're on defense. Clinch with the right leg, front leg defense. I don't think he needs to spin there yet. A little bit early. Get the distance with footwork first. Come on, ref, where's the camera? Where's the camera? Out of bounds. You got time. Ooh. Oh, jammed up the feet. That was not a bad defense here by Korea. Let's analyze that. Motion, because he knows he's going to press. He knows Jordan's going to come in. So him coming in to jam it, it's a good change of direction. He has this... I don't know if this is legal, actually. He has this front leg, bent knee, Steven Lopez thing going on. I don't know if it's legal. They haven't been calling it, so apparently it is legal. But it's... it's. Uh, I thought they banned that in my head. So maybe this ref is letting it through. He needs one head kick to tie the game. Running. Gum jung running. Motion X. Motion. Oh. Oh, he's at one. Motion X. Motion X. Motion X. Short X. Oh. That's such a shame. Those are, those are nice little kicks here. Yeah, those. that's that's a shame I didn't score. Um, in this place, I would say Korea has... Um, four right four gum junks so here he's coming in a motion one hujin back and then a jump forward I think would have been able to bail some of that out let's see let's see if motion slide back yeah well he, good good coverage on his part and good fight by the two gentlemen here so Korea, front leg defense, very patient, more patient than I would have been, actually, because I was calling maybe he should, he should go on offense, blah, 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 but him knowing exactly where he scores most often, front leg to the body, that right leg to the body on defense seems like where it carried him forward. The other matches, he did have to pull that right leg out where he stepped forward, kicked it underneath, and then in the one in the second round, he, how did he score? He had that right leg on the inside. So, good job for Korea here sitting on and understanding that that scoring uh, area where he's he's maximally good at and not a bad fight here by Jordan Jordan's been raising some good fighters all around good fighters I think what could have made the difference I would say maybe I'd even say maybe even just a little bit more following up would have made some difference in the clinch uh, and being wary of that front leg and it's hard because that front leg of Korea can hit both left and right. It can hit ins it can hit the reverse kick and the front leg. I think fighting that one, maybe you switch to open stance if he was comfortable or were able to do that. If you're going to stay closed stance, jam up, and then you'd have to fire your left leg off in the clinch a lot to try and jam up his right leg. Maybe throw some doubles in the clinch so that way your left leg jams his right leg and then your second leg is coming out to fire. So those are possible workarounds. Would it work? I don't know. I'm just backseat quarterbacking this match. Thank you guys for watching me. If you found this valuable, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.